Hello everyone, good day. So the final countdown is coming to a close. Tomorrow is the deadline for the extraction of American nationals and all foreign nationals at the Kabul airport. I have to admit that thousands, literally thousands have been rescued or taken out of Afghanistan. Thousands. We don't know if they'll reveal the exact figures, but I'm sure they'll probably tell us at some time. All went well so far, Not, none was hurt, I even had a few um, childbirths taking, taking place on, on, on the plane as, as people were heading out. I think there were three or four women who gave birth on the plane en route to their respective countries or wherever they were being taken to. And I'm happy for that. I heard or I saw on Twitter yesterday it was this woman, this anchor, Rachel Maddow on MSNBC. She had a note on Twitter that says publicly that America was conducting clandestine or covert activities behind enemy lines, behind the Taliban lines in, in Afghanistan to extract Americans who were trapped there, couldn't get out. Now how could a woman, how could she, American, an American say that? When you're doing it, when, when the state is engaged in, 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 in um, extracting people from a foreign country, those activities are considered classified and secret. If she got to win that this was indeed happening by the CIA or any other military force or unit, those things should not be revealed to pub publicly. She should wait until after all of this happens or and the deadline has passed and everything is over. Then make that declaration that yes, we did involve in clandestine activity to extract Americans who were trapped behind and we got some, etc. But you do not make that public, publicly known while it's in progress because you endanger the lives of the extractors and the extractees. And that is a tactless remark from, I, I think, I supposedly some educated, supposedly educated woman. How can you make such a tactless remark? about something so sensitive as that. But this is America, and we, we have lots of dummies here in all levels of society. Ignoramuses and dumb, 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 dumbbells. It's unfortunate, but that is it. That is exactly what we have, have here. From the highest to the lowest, you find that type of a thing happening here. Senseless, you know, ignorant people. Anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow at the end of the exercise what will be, what the Taliban will do. I know before I close, I'll have to say that and I'll repeat, the Taliban will not honor any of the promises they make. They will, be, they will play for time, that they've played for time for the takeover. They'll play for time, they'll try to play the world outside to get money flowing back in so they can finance their own people, pay them, etc., do whatever they want to do. And at the same time, they'll do what they want to do because they'll tell you, this is Afghanistan, this is a sovereign country, and uh, we do not welcome anyone interfering with our internal affairs. That's what they'll tell the world after they get what they want. This is Afghanistan, a sovereign country, and we will not welcome, we do not welcome interference in our internal affairs. They will say that. So do not listen to those promises they make. None. None. Those people are not equipped mentally to honor any modern modern day philosophy about human rights and dignity and respect oh no they said they want to establish an islamic state governed by sharia law which is a personal edict or personal edicts by each mullah or, or imam in, in the different re regions each imam or mullah will have his will decide what or how the people should behave in other words each imam in each region will be the moral authority he or he will be the moral authority of all those he he uh, supervise or oversee. He will declare publicly and by rote what they should do and not do, where they should go and not go, how they should behave and not behave. And as you see, how they use whips in public, whip them on the street, whip the women, etc. That will continue. That behavior will continue if they feel you are not behaving as per we expected. Some will be shot. Some will be beheaded and some will be whipped, others will be tortured. This is how they operate. You cannot change, you cannot remove the spots from a leopard. That, those spots were genetically put there. 
and they are mentally wired that way. Anyway, I should stop there and let us wait and see what happens after tomorrow's departure. Take care. Bye for now.